Hello everyone, welcome back to student version. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. In this video, I will be showing you how to use model sim for simulation and verification of digital circuits. If you haven't installed model sim yet, check out my previous video on how to download and install model sim. The link is in the description below. First, let's launch model sim. Once it is open, we will create a new project. Now click on File, New, Project and give a name to your project. I will name my project as EX Code. Now choose a location to save it. I have already created a folder with the name Verilog Lab. I am choosing it as my location to save my project. After choosing the location, just set the project type to Work Library and then click OK. Now let's add some files to the project. Click on Add New File. Here we have many options to choose. To work on Verilog, we have to choose between VHDL or Verilog. And give a name to your file and click OK. If you are interested to add some more files to your project, just click on create new file. Or else, if you are already having an existing file, click add existing file and browse to your source code. Once done, hit OK. Just close the tab. Now select the file and give a double click. Here we get a new window to write our code. Let me write a small Verilog code which implements ANCAPE. After the completion of writing the module, we have to save the file. While we are editing the code, we can see a star mark over here. To save the file, just click on the symbol or else press Ctrl S. Once the file is saved, the star mark will be disappeared. Now we need to compile the file. Just select the file, click on compile, select the option compile selected. If there are any errors in your code, model sim will highlight them in the transcripted window. So make sure to fix them before proceeding. Here we have no address in our code, so we got successful message. After compiling the file, let's simulate our design. Click on simulation, start simulation, select your work library, choose the top module and click OK. Now give a right click on the file and select add wave. Here we are simulating our design without writing any test bench. So the values for the variables will be z. So we have to assign some values to the variables. To assign values, just select the variable, give a right click and here we have an option called force. Just click on it. Now we can assign the values to the variables according to our requirements and then click OK. Here at the top we have run length. We can increment it or decrement it according to our requirement. Beside that we have run button. With downward arrow, just click on it. Let me change the values and run again. Once 
once the waveform appears, analyze the signal transitions. You can use the zoom and cursor tools to inspect the details. Till now we have simulated the design without writing a test bench by forcing the values to the variables. Let's write a test bench and simulate the design again. Close this. Do a right click. Add to project. New file. Now write your test bench. So we got another tab to write the code. Module export PD. Now compile the test bench. And compile all the files in the project. After getting the successful compile message, simulate the test bench. Just right click on the file and choose add web. Here the default values of the variables are X. Now click on run. Now you know the basics of model sync for digital circuit simulation. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Don't forget to check my video on how to download and install model sync. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment section. And thanks for watching.